Okay, so let's take a look at the instantiate command. Now, if you want to create uh, objects in your scene uh, without having to place them in when the scene begins, uh, then you need to do it via scripting using instantiate. You're also going to need to have objects stored as a prefab. So if you're not familiar with prefabs, have a look at the previous lesson about creating a prefab from a scene-based object. So at the moment, we've got this bouncy box uh, in our scene, but also stored as a prefab in the project. So at the moment what it does is it's in the scene and it bounces around like that. But I'm going to take it out of the active scene and instead place in an empty object. So this game object simply has a transform, so it has a position, rotation and scale. So it's just sitting around there. I'm going to place it roughly over our floor. Then what I'm going to do is to create a JavaScript, which I'm going to rename Creator. And I'm going to double click to open that up. And we're going to place this command into a start function. And we'll need to make a variable at the top to refer to this prefab. So I'm going to say var the prefab. I'm going to say colon to type it to game object. And then semicolon to end that variable. And in the start function, I'm also going to make a variable to refer to the creation of this object. So I'm going to call this var instance is of type game object and is equal to instantiate command and the first thing that goes into that command is the object so that's going to be whatever object we apply to that prefab variable at the top and then a position which we can take from whatever we add this script to likewise a rotation so transform.position and transform.rotation will simply take if we just switch back briefly the values from the object we're going to attach the script to which is that empty game object so if I save that and then switch back to unity I'm going to drag that creator script and drop it onto my empty game object and now you can see it's got a, a reference for the prefab which is that member variable that I made earlier all I need to do is drag my prefab onto that and press play and it will create that box when the game starts so you can see it says clone of that prefab. Okay, so you can see it's bouncing straight up and down as well. That is because the game object has no rotation to it. If I were to rotate that ever so slightly, then the creation of the bouncy box will take that rotation as well. So you can see it bounces off because it's created at an angle. So that's basic instantiation in Unity.